guys welcome back to my channel we're here today with a little bit of a reading update because it's been about a week since I last checked in and I've been reading a ton I finished three books for the booktube prize I am on track to finish on track to finish ballots are due in about a week or so and the goal was to finish reading all the books about a week before the ballots were due so that I have time to just kind of sit with the books and think about my my thoughts think about my thoughts process my feelings about the books but sometimes you have to acknowledge just who you are and that that's just not my process I'm the kind of person who'll be reading on the last day that's just how it's always been so I finished four of the books and I still have two to go but considering that I finished these three in the last week I I'd started a couple of them before but I finished these three in the last week means that I'm very hopeful that I will not be reading Down to the Wire. I think I'll be able to finish both of those books maybe by the end of this week. So that would be good. I'd still be able to give myself a couple of days to just kind of process. Did I mention all these are memoirs? Stay True is uh, an adult man. He's a staff writer at The New Yorker and his memoir is mostly focused on his college years and he's writing about a significant friendship that he had during college that he lost and a little bit of a time capsule going back into that time. And then this one, Amy Bloom's memoir called In Love and this one is about her husband and losing her husband to Alzheimer's. And then Dinners with Ruth is by Nina Tottenberg, and this is a little bit about her relationship with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, as well as other Supreme Court justices, Antonin Scalia, and a little bit about that life in Washington around that, that part of society. Uh, Nina Tottenberg works with NPR. She's a court reporter, and so a little bit of that part of her life. So yeah, mentioned very briefly what the books are about, but can't tell you about my response responses to the books yet but that video is coming <laughs> i have lots of thoughts to share with you so other things that i have finished i read if you read this by kareen getton this is a middle grade book because it is still march middle grade march is still going on so kareen getton's novel uh, her debut novel was when life gives you mangoes and I wanted to read something else from her because there was this part of that book that I just, I wasn't sure if she was going to, if that was going to be her trademark. So, When Life Gives You Mangoes talks a little bit about a girl dealing with a loss of someone and it kind of overshadowing other parts of her life. This one's kind of similar in the fact that this one is about a girl 12 years old. On her 12th birthday, she gets some letters from her deceased mother because her mother died a few years before that. But the mother, before she died, left her some letters to be read on her, on her when she turned 12. And so it's a little bit of her getting to know her mother all over again through these letters and it also being a bridge towards other things that she needs to do or wants to do with her life. So a little bit about her not quite mending, but her seeing, maybe getting a little bit more insight into a better relationship with her father and her grandfather. Um, yeah, just like her mother giving her a little bit of guidance, even though she's not physically with her anymore. What I really like about this book is that Kareen Getton is a Jamaican who lives overseas. <laughs> and this book is centered in the Caribbean experience, but she doesn't name where exactly. So it's the kind of book that could be happening, the kind of story that could be happening anywhere. And I also really like that it's not about these big things that happen. It's more about this young girl living her life and a little bit about the relationships that could be had anywhere. The kind of story that I think any little girl, any little kid could read and just relate to. Like you don't have to have lost someone to be dealing with some of the, the issues that this little girl is dealing with. So I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, Kareen Getton, thumbs up. Thumbs up for this book. So aside from that, I'm still continuing a couple of other things that I've been reading for a little while now. I'm still buddy reading Willa Cather's Death Comes for the Archbishop and I'm reading this with Patrice Jones. Hi Patrice. And I owe Patrice a check-in, so I need to go do that today. We are reading this, you know, at our pace. Not slowly, not fast, 
but I really like Willa Cather's writing. It's about a male priest who's been assigned to the apostolic vicar to New Mexico in the 1850s. And it's a lot of landscape and a lot of church, clergy and corruption and how some people take advantage of the fact that they're not being closely monitored <laughs> to just kind of do their own thing. And I'm really, really enjoying this writing. Willa Cather's writing is just so, so atmospheric. Like you can't help but notice the scenery. You just can't help but see how the scenery contributes to the life that people live. So reading that, buddy reading that with Patrice, buddy reading The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel Barbary. This is translated from the French by Alison Anderson. And I'm buddy reading, buddy reading this with Rosalie. And Columbus was participating in the buddy read, but I think he has decided to not continue <laughs> for the rest of this novel because I think he just can't see, can't see a way forward at the halfway point. So. I've kind of put this aside for a couple of days. Um, I put this aside for a couple of days, but I really, really like this story. This was a favorite when I read it the first time a few years ago. It's about a residential hotel, a residential building in France. One of the main characters is the middle-aged concierge, a female concierge, and the other main character is a 12-year-old girl. And we're reading their journals, a little bit of their insights, and how they both pretend to be different from who they really are with most of the other people in their lives. And I really like what the author does in that she gives us a little bit of introspection on how these two kinds of people live and how these two kinds of people think about other people. More, more on this when I'm finished, more on this. But yeah, really, really enjoy, I really, really enjoy this book. So. More on that later. I'm also still reading The God of Good Looks by Brienne McIver. I'm reading that on Kindle. It's a little bit about a young woman who had a relationship with an older man, a married politician in her country. And so she has been kind of dealing with the backlash when, when that was exposed and her reputation was shot. And so she's working with someone who's into makeup and she's now trying to bridge the gap between superficial elements of life and the other things that should be more meaningful. And she's also writing a novel about her experiences and her relationship with her father and her mother. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's not quite the book that I thought it was going to be, but it's enjoyable nonetheless. So I think I'll finish that one today and I'll be able to just kind of sum up my thoughts in a review and share that with you in my next catch up. But yeah, these are the books that I've been reading recently. So let me know in the comments down below what you've had on the go recently, what you finished most recently, what you're reading now, how you're feeling, what your thoughts are on those books. So yeah, thank you so much for being here for this little update and I hope I hope I hear from you about your updates too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm here looking forward to hearing from you about your bookish life. I hope everything's going well and until we come back for another video, happy reading. Bye.